listening to the Mistresses of Mayhem. We are in Idaho Falls with Edsel from uh, Dope. How are you doing? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. How's the tour treating you so far? It's rock and roll tour, man. Different city every day. A bunch of loud, rowdy people. That's what we do. So how's it like being with all the old members? Um, you know, it's the same as always. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't affect me at all. I, I love all these guys. I love all the guys I play with. When it's not these guys, it's kind of the same to me. The, the stories are different. That's the that's the point of it, is that uh, there's more old school stories that we share. Remember that time? But, uh, <laughs> but other than that, you know, it's just, it's just a solid show, man. We're just doing what we do. Awesome. It's good. Very cool. New album coming out in October? Yep, new album in October. We just uh, released a live record recently, too, that we did, uh, which is what kind of spawned the whole reunion. We uh, we played in Russia together, um, and the new uh, studio album comes out October 28th. And people can pre-order that right now? They can pre-order on iTunes, or you can pre-order it at uh, dopetheband.com. Um, and yeah, it's all good. You guys have some amazing packages on your website right now. Thank you. Yes, you do. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots like, of goodies. I don't, I don't know what I want. I want everything. <laughs> I want everything. Sounds like a woman. <laughs> I got two kidneys. I'll sell one. It'll be fine. Fair It'll enough. be all right. I only need one. Fair enough. So, Blood Money video? Yeah. The eye things? Did that hurt? It sucked. It looks really painful. It sucked really <laughs> bad. Yeah, and you can't, you can't blink. Nope. So um, you have to constantly have somebody putting drops in your eyes while you're trying to do takes of the music. And I'm the director, so I'm telling people when to roll camera and when to put drops in my eyes. It, it sucks, but it's you know that's what, awesome. I, that's what I do. It was worth it though. Yeah, it looks great. You know, I got it, it was uh, you know the artistic vision that I wanted to get across. It was it was very necessary. So uh, so yeah, it's good. Very cool. So, what are you guys' plans after the tour? Not sure. Uh, the album comes out pretty much when the tour ends, and uh, we're just starting to kind of think about what will happen uh, in early 2017, but nothing set in stone. We're just going to take it slow and figure it out. And you guys are going overseas after this tour? We are going back to Russia and the Ukraine and uh, the United Kingdom. We've got a big show in London at the O2 Academy, which is going to be great. Nice. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Just you one thing at a time. Those, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stay for a little bit. I try not to think too far ahead and become a slave to the whole, like, oh, the record's out, so I just, I gotta do everything I can to sell it. Like, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. It's like, it's all good, man. The, the fan base will find it and we'll, we'll, we'll figure it'll it out. It'll sell itself, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, hopefully so, you know. The reviews seem pretty good on Blood Money. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, it's only been a couple songs put out there so far. Um, you know, I think Hater's gonna hate. And uh, people that are, are into the band will, you know, I, I think like anything, you know, first impressions are first impressions, but you listen to a record in your car when you drive back and forth to work and it grows on you. So, um, you know, we live in a society that's built on instant, you know, like we have the power now and our, everyone's opinion is so important and always the negative people are louder than the positive people. And that's just life. If you have good service in a, in a restaurant, you don't usually stand up and shout about how great it was, but if your waiter sucks, you're like, God, this guy sucks. Like, we're just more expressive about the things that are negative in our lives than we are the positives. And the keyboard warriors on the internet are, you know, are, are more more vocal than, than they should be, but they are. So um, the hate always is is the loudest in the beginning, but they're also the least. They care the least, so they dissipate, and then the real reaction is more able to be to be. Uh, Red after the fact. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, agreed. I mean, they're just a bunch of fucking idiots. At those trolls. Ugh, Ugh. trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Face, feed faceless them. trolls. Like, yep. uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it would be a totally different world if those people had to actually account for their oh, yeah, words. Their actions. In person, they'd be like, Pfft. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So, I, you know, sometimes I like to go on and troll them. I have a lot of fun. They usually show yep. up really quick because, you know, I don't care if you hate my band. It's cool. It, music is all opinion. There is no right or wrong. Um, but just uh, accurately hate. You know? yeah. Tell me why. Don't just tell me that you you suck. Know, that I does, suck. That's like, not a reason. Actually, I don't suck. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure about that. But uh, if you want to say my guitar player can't play, Okay, I beg to differ. You listen to the song, and you gotta be able to play to play this shit. So uh, I don't know. I, I kind of have fun with them because they never have any any soul to their or any substance to their hate. It's There's just no backing stupid. to it. No, no back. Just words. It. Yeah. Yep. It's just my my girlfriend upset me today, and I'm gonna 
talk about how I hate this band. Yep. Cool, man. What have you ever done? Right? What are you doing? Oh, you're sitting in your mom's basement. <laughs> right. Oh, maybe. Lots of that. <laughs> but awesome. Good. I'm used to it. Yeah. Haters mean you're making it, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they I say. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're looking forward to tonight's show. Um, you're going to rip our faces off, right? I don't know if I'm going to rip your face off, but I'm going to play loud, aggressive uh, hard rock and metal music with a really good light show and some cool dudes and uh, I might part your hair. Hey, that'll work. I, I can do with a good party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to talk, talk about before we let you go? Uh, no. Tour dates are up. Um, Facebook.com slash Dope the Band. Um, new album October 28th. Um, you know, one thing I have been talking about that might merit saying, if you like this band or any other band, it's important that you buy the records. A lot of people think that it's about economics, but it's not, truthfully. We make shit money on records, it doesn't matter. We make our money on t-shirts and touring. Um, but it's very important that you buy records because it's the only thing that really documents whether or not the band has fans in your region. You can listen to it on Spotify all day long, you can listen to it on YouTube all day long, but that's not gonna make the band tour your market. When you buy the record in the marketplace, it's a clear, documented stamp that says, X amount of people in this area bought this band's record, which allows the agents and the promoters and the people that put together the bigger package tours to go, oh, this is a band that we should include or that we should bring to town. If you don't buy the records and you just listen to them on Spotify or YouTube or you download them for free, you can't bitch when the band doesn't come to your town. Exactly. So if you want to go see the shows and you want the band to come to your town, that's the reason that you need to, at the minimum, drop $9.99 on iTunes and buy the record so that they know that a person in that region bought the record. It's more important for that purpose than any other reason. It's not about money. It's about documenting that there is a fan in that area that's interested in seeing the band. So it's up to you. Good advice. Very good advice. Great advice. So thank you very much for chatting with us. You got yes, it. Thank, thank you, you for much. caring enough about what my dumb ass is. <laughs> we love your dumb ass. I mean, we love your ass. I Appreciate mean, it. All we of love it. you. I get it. <laughs> All okay. right. All right. You've been chatting with the Mistresses of Mayhem and Edsel from Dope on Metal Local Radio. Peace.